CV Splines 3.0 introduces two new objects, CV Catenary and CV Cross Stitch. The combination of these two objects allow you to create really beautiful hanging wires, ropes, and chains. All of this is based on something called a catenary curve, which is the shape that you see when something flexible is suspended between two points. And this is where CV splines comes to the rescue. I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch out a few different line segments here, and maybe even something like this zigzag. And I'm now going to add a catenary spline object to my scene, and I'm gonna make my spline a child of the catenary spline. And now what you'll see is we are getting a hanging version of those shapes that is properly aligned with gravity. You can even adjust the amount of sag, uh, variation between these different shapes, and if you want you can even reverse them and turn them into arches. So how would you apply this in a more concrete example, like say this electrical tower? How would we string wires between our objects? Well, you could certainly duplicate this, take your spline tools, take advantage of snapping, and draw out your wires like this. Totally workable method, and probably the recommended method when you're working with just a few objects. However, what happens when you start trying to make more than one copy of your tower? Things are gonna get a little bit more tedious, especially if you add in rotation. Well, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a cloner object, and I'm gonna clone this out on the Z-axis. And I'm even going to add in a little bit of rotation, which would mean that I'd really have to hand draw all of these normally. But with CV splines, I can now add what's called a CV cross stitch spline. And this object is looking for a hierarchy or a cloner. So I'm just gonna drag in a cloner. And you'll see that it is now drawn a line between each of the positions of my clones. But that's not quite what we want. What we want is a line connecting each of these sort of hanging elements. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take advantage of this subgroup option. And in here, I've got an object called hangers. I'm just gonna drag that into my subgroup. And what you'll notice is that there is now a line stitching together each of these child objects. And uh, if I wanted, uh, just for fun, I could, for example, duplicate this over. And now I've got, I don't know, triple wires down here on the bottom. So I now have lines that are connecting all of these objects and that will dynamically adjust as I change the amount of movement, the amount of rotation, any of these things. Now, to turn them into hanging wires, it's just as simple as adding a CV catenary spline. So I'm just gonna hold down Alter Option as I add this and I now have my nice hanging wires. I can adjust the amount of sag to something a little bit more uh, reasonable, and you can even adjust the amount of variation that happens for each of these. If you don't like the shapes, just change your seed values and you'll get different arrangements for your wires. Now, to give this a little bit of thickness, I'm gonna come in and just choose CV sweep splines and scale down the resulting shape. And I now have a nice looking set of electrical towers. All right, that's CV Splines 3.0, adding a catenary and cross stitch blind to your toolkit.